a fabulous cupcake shop. I mean, this is a feast for the eyes, Christina. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for joining us oh, this morning. Thank you so much for having I me. mean, you're getting us ready for Easter, and a lot of people are going to say, this is too complicated for me to make at home. Mm -hmm. But she's here to tell you that you can do this at home, and she's going to show us how. Let's get started right away. All right, away. so I'm going to show you two easy tips that you can do easy at okay. home. First off, we're going to do uh, phyllo dough. This is phyllo dough, uh, shredded phyllo dough that you can get any at your local. Group. So the phyllo, you just buy it and you cut it yeah. up? No, it actually comes like this. Oh, it comes like this. Okay. Yeah, you can get it at a Greek local bakery in the bakery section. For sure. So what you do is you can get like a mini pan right here, mm -hmm. and uh, you just take a strand of phyllo dough. Okay. Go over ahead. And you can just wrap it around your finger. Hmm, I'm not finding a strand. I'll figure it out. Okay, a strand yeah. is here. There we yeah, go. There you go. Okay. And then you just wrap it around your finger, just like that, exactly. And you just place it in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, actually. You can just take strands because in like nature, this. nests aren't perfect. <laughs> yeah, so there exactly. you go. So you can just actually even take a bunch. Okay. And just place it in here. Just take like a bunch like this and just pr put pressure. Okay. So and once just do it like that. So once we filled up all of these things, mm -hmm. what do we do? Then what you do is you take a bit of sugar, like you take a sugar, and you just oh, well before you do this actually is to preheat your oven 275. 275. Fahrenheit, which is 135 Celsius. Okay. Uh, so you can get that first, and then. You can do this, and yeah. then you just put like a lots of sugar, and the sugar will bind the uh, phyllo dough together. Perfect. And it will stick together. So okay. Once that. So we put that. We put this in the oven, we'll just like this, this. Yeah, in the oven like that for about 15 minutes. 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you just, when that's done. Through the magic of television, by the way. <laughs> uh, oh, this is adorable. Yeah, so it'll be coming like this. Mm -hmm. You'll have like a golden brown, with a golden brown. And what's nice, you can also put cinnamon too, which has a great taste. You can even eat it; it's great. For sure. And then what you do here is we have, like, a, this is like kind of like a sparkle gel. And then we'll put it down yeah, in there. Yeah, you can just put it down in okay. here. Okay, we're running out of time, so we're gonna move mm -hmm. away from. We're gonna put. We're gonna put yeah. the little eggs on top. And then you can just put the eggs on top, and then. It's Stick it on and, and it's done. And then you just stick it on and you just put it here and there you go. So okay, you so here it. we've got something called fondant. Mm -hmm. Fondant. Fondant. What yeah. are we going to do with this? What you're going to do is first massage it yeah. to get, you know, get soft. soft. And then what you do is you take your roller yeah. and you roll the fondant mm -hmm. like this. You want you don't want to make it too thick. Oops, yeah, I'm getting it. Okay, yes. And then? <laughs> you don't want to make it too thick. And then what we have here is fondant cutters that you can get any of your, like, local... Uh, craft store, craft store yeah, in the baking section. And now? And then you can just place, just push this down. Oops, I can do this. I can totally do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Push this down. And then, ooh. And then there you go. And then you just. Oh, you wait, just I have didn't to... push it down hard enough. And then this serves as the decoration for the top yeah, of the cupcake. Yeah, for the top of the cupcake. Oh, that's how all these beautiful things happen. And it's very easy to do this at home and to do it with kids, like for Easter. And do we have to bake these or we just place them on top? You can leave them. Well, you can put them Like, do you them bake direct. the fondant or no? No, no, no. We okay, don't okay, bake okay, it okay. at all. No. So then this, then this, and this somehow makes all of this beautiful stuff, Christina. We have to yeah. say, Eugenie Bouchard is a huge fan. Yes, of, yes, of, yes. of your product. So this is legit. This is the real deal. Like Again, yes. the store is Dolce and Ghetto. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the goal here is do this with your kids. This is very easy for the very kids to do. Very simple to do. It's so much fun. Rolling yeah. up the fondant. I will be putting my face in this cake. Thank yes. you so much for joining oh, us and happy so Easter. Much. Happy Easter to you too. All right, enjoy it with your kids.